in a conch shell uh, probably as soon as I began to being able to walk. My father taught me how to play, he taught my other brothers how to play the shell as well. And the traditions of bone a conch shell in the Keys and, and in Key West dates back uh, several hundred years. There wasn't a ship that went out that didn't have at least one conch shell on it uh, for communications. What I have here is a, a, uh, a conch that has actually been what the, the, the technical term is called conked. Someone hit it with a hammer. And that hammer mark then creates a vacuum. The snail falls right out of the shell and then you can prepare it. Now this one here has had that spiral end removed. The, the shell is then bored out a little to create a, a mouthpiece. And then you're able to produce the, the sound. <laughs> The mouth position is a, is a pucker, and uh, by changing the, the pitch of uh, of your of your lips and and the the, the movement of your tongue, you can um, change the the tone. What most people will do is they'll get a shell. They'll say, "Oh, okay, I can just do that then." And that's traditionally what most people will do. What you want to do though is pull from that gut and then let it go. Some of us have taken it to another level where we'll play portions of uh, composed music and we'll give you a little, quick little sample of a section from the saber dance. The advice I would give to aspiring conch shell musicians is to go and buy a conch shell, take a deep breath, and give it your best shot. Anybody can do this. You just got to get past the fear of putting a shell next to your mouth, watching your friends ridicule you while you go out and learn how to play a conch shell. And of course, I invite you to come to Key West. I'd be more than happy to show you how to play one of these things myself. <laughs>